Hi guys! Welcome back to Renaming DIYs. I'm sorry for uploading after such a long time, but finally I have a video here for you guys. So um, I'm going to be making this super trendy puppet. So this is a fidget toy stress reliever and unlike most puppet DIY videos, I'm going to be making this completely from paper and tape. It works amazing, I'll show you guys. I have my puppet here and you can pop this. It's like a normal puppet. And it is a really customizable DIY so you can like personalize it in any way you like. And it's pretty easy to make as well. Okay, so now let's get to the materials. Okay guys, so to make your puppet, you're gonna be needing three pieces of paper. Two for the frame, so the outside of the puppet, and then one for the thing you actually pop, so the circles. You're also gonna be needing some scissors, tape, and something to decorate your frame and circles with as well as some glue and a pencil and probably an eraser. It's also helpful to have a protractor or something circular to make your circles with so they're even, but I'm gonna freehand it. Okay, so now let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making our circles. And you can make your circles however big or small you like. So you just want to go ahead and you want to draw five circles on your piece of paper. So now that I have my circles, you can go ahead and you can decorate these however you want. So I'll be back soon. Okay guys, so I finished decorating my puppets and I just want to say that the traditional design is this right over here. I didn't do it because I honestly do not like the idea of popping little faces. But that's like the normal, usual way you decorate these. Our next step is to put some tape on our circles. So basically we're going to laminate them. An easy way to do that is just take your tape and you just want to put it where your circles are. And you want to put tape like that everywhere where your circles are, making sure that your circles are fully covered with tape. So everywhere that I have circles, I now have tape. So what we can finally do now is we're going to cut out our circles. So now that we have these cut out, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a slit in our paper up till the middle to make our puppets cone shape and poppable. So basically, you want to take one of your circles and you just want to cut till the middle. Like this. And then we're gonna overlap it so it's cone shaped, like this. Now you wanna take some of your tape. I have my tape right here. And with the thing overlapped, you just wanna stick on your tape so it stays overlapped. Like this. And then you cut off the extra, and with that extra, you just stick it on the back, like this, right where the slit is. So this way I have tape right over here where I cut it and on the back right where I cut it. So now it's cone shaped. You wanna do the same thing, do all the rest of your circles. Okay guys, so I have all of my popping part of the puppets ready and now it's time to make our frame. So if, if you're using thick cardstock paper, 
you can skip this step, but if you aren't, then what you want to do is you want to fold your paper in half hamburger. And once you do that, you're going to unfold it and you're going to put some glue on one side of your paper. So I have my glue and once again, if you're using cardstock, you skip this. And once we have a glue, we just fold the paper back in half hamburger and we glue our whole thing together. That way our paper is now thick and it's a more like reliable frame. Now after this, cardstock people, this is for you too. So you want to take your puppet and you want to put it on your frame and you want to trace it. You want to do this to all of your puppets. You can choose how you want to distance them and all that, but the main thing is you just want to trace them on your paper. I'm using a white colored pencil to do this just so you guys can see. You want to just be using a normal pencil. Also, I know this seems kind of obvious, but it's actually a pretty common mistake. You want to make sure you're tracing each puppet individually and not the same puppet five times. So I'll be back after I'm done tracing each of my puppets. Okay guys, so I have all my puppets all traced, and now we'll create the outer edge of our frame. And that's basically just gonna be whatever shape you want your frame to be in. So I want to do sort of like a blob, a star shape thing. So I'm just gonna create some blobs around my circles like this. So that way my shape, my frame is in this shape. So when we glue our puppets in, they aren't just like glued into this piece of paper, they're glued into whatever shape we want. So like this. If you wanna decorate your frame, now's the time to do so. I'm not going to do that just because I like how it looks. So once you're done decorating, we're going to laminate our frame the same way we did with her puppets. You want to take your tape everywhere that our frame is, so this outer edge and the circles and any space in between, we're going to laminate that. like this and you don't need to do the back just the front so i'll be back after my frame is fully laminated okay guys so i have my little frame over here all laminated so now we are just gonna go ahead we're gonna cut out our frame so basically you just want to like separate it from all the extra pieces of paper we're not cutting out the little circles we drew just yet So I cut out my frame over here, and now it's time to cut out our circles in between. So you just want to take your scissors, and we obviously can just poke in. So what you do is you fold the paper right where the circle is, so the circle is folded in half, like this. And then you make a little cut in the middle. Like that, and now you can just poke into that cut and cut your piece of paper. You want to cut out all of your circles like this, like I did right over here, and I'll be back once that's done. Okay guys, so I cut out my little circles over here, but now we're going to be needing to make two frames. So this is our first one, this is our front frame, so now we need to make the, so now we need to make the back frame as well. And we're going to make it the exact same way as we made this. Of course, they do need to be exact, so we're just going to trace this. So, you want to take your paper, and once again, if you're, if you're not using cardstock, you're going to fold it in half and glue it. If you are using cardstock, you skip that step. My paper glued in half over here, and now I'm just going to take my first trim over here, and I'm going to trace it. So, I'll be back once that's done. Okay guys, I am done tracing and do be aware that this is the back frame. So if you want, now is the time to decorate it, but you know, it's the back so you don't really have to. But now, just like we did last time, we're going to laminate this and cut this out. 
Okay, I'll just show you how to do this earlier in my video. I'll be back once all of that is completely done. Both my okay guys, so here are both my frames. This is my front and this is my back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our front frame and we're gonna start gluing in, well, taping in our poppets. So you wanna take whichever one matches whatever hole you're gluing it into, taping, whatever hole you're taping it into. And you wanna take your tape and make it about this big. Then you position your poppet however you want to, if it isn't already positioned. And holding in that position, you turn it upside down and just stick your tape on so it's a little on your poppet and a little on your paper. It's best to do this with your tape vertical because that way it just sticks easier since, you know, we have a cone and a frame so that's a bit hard to stick. And I recommend putting eight pieces of tape on each little poppet and making sure that like your next piece of tape overlaps with the one before it. You don't want to put your tape too close to the middle of the poppet or else when you pop it, it will have no room to pop. But now um, I'm done and I'll do the same exact thing to all the rest of your poppets. So I'll be back once that's done. Okay guys, so I glued on my puppets to my front frame and now you're probably thinking we're done and we have this weird extra frame here. But actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue on this frame to the back. So it's like this. That way you can see all the tape we have back here. Plus the tape is way more secure because if it was to come out by some chance, it's captured by our back frame. So what we're going to do is you basically just want to put some glue on the back frame. Okay guys, I put some glue on my frame and I put it on the laminated side because that's just how my little puppet is structured. So now we're going to turn it around and we're going to glue it on. If you're wondering why it's so shiny, I accidentally put some glue on this side first. So that's just that. So you want to glue this on. So I have this glued on. And if you were also sticking the laminated side and yours didn't stick because, you know, sometimes glue is just like that, then you can always just use some tape and stick the corners. But anyways, here is my final product. And um, it works amazing. You can pop it just like an actual pop it that's store bought. And if you like yours, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like this. If there's a fidget stress reliever or any DIY you'd really like to see, put it down in the comments below because they work 100% now. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Bye.